Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you. I thank you that you heard my prayer for Bryce, that you answered and convicted Bryce's heart by your spirit, Lord. I just want to give you thanks tonight. Thank you for watching over my brother and his family, Lord, and for bringing Eric to salvation, because no matter if he sold his soul, there's no way you can let go of someone if you have decided for his salvation already, or if that's your will, is that none perish, but all come through re to repentance. In Yeshua's name, I join with uh, Bryce for the salvation of Eric and all family members that he has, every friend that he has, and I thank you, Lord, for using my brother uh, to develop him as a mighty soldier in the Lord Jesus Christ. So thank you, Father, for giving him the full armor of God and remind him along the way that he should wear his full armor, that prayer is our heavy artillery uh, to defeat the plans of the enemy. Lord, this battle will be won on our knees, trusting in you alone. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, I pray. Amen. Hey there, Brother Bryce. Uh, this is Serge. I want to apologize in advance for uh, my strong French accent. I uh, just want to say thank you for making a video uh, because it really touched my heart that you heard the, the conviction uh, to let go of uh, the fear or, or let go of the, the things of the enemy. Uh, if you really want to win that battle, my brother, it's going to be on our knees. And, it, and I would like to you to open your Bible. Sorry, ran out of batteries. I had to uh, change the batteries. So if you want to open your Bible to 2 Chronicles 7, 14, we can read that. Uh, uh, I'll just put it, a, I will search it out myself. 2 Chronicles 7, 14 says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble, humble themselves and pray and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. So I know that you know, or along with me, that all those souls that are deceived by Satan, they, they need Jesus. Every soul needs Jesus, even our enemies. And Jesus Christ told us to pray for our enemies, and it is a very difficult thing to do. Uh, I remember that uh, one day I came across your channel and I... I saw that your your earthly dad had passed away, and and I, I sense in my heart that you have a hard time, and and I would understand that you would have a hard time forgiving your government. And I'm not asking you tonight because I I know you alone you can't, but with the help of Jesus Christ everything is possible, and that's why I was I guess inspired to tell you to win soul for, for souls for Christ so that you don't spend all your good energy uh, trying to denounce uh, the evils that are being done in this world. Because a lot of people know about it, because, but they are paralyzed by fear. And a lot of people are in darkness and they are blind. So what it does is when you try to bring the light on darkness, the darkness will try to kill you. Uh, and it is one reason why you had a bullet hole through your window. So when I see that, I see that I could lose a brother that is precious and I, I'd rather see you win souls for Christ and I'm so glad you answered uh, favorably to that. That tells me you are a genuine soldier in Christ who needed help and I'm glad I saw that and I prayed all, as soon as I saw that I said Lord you got to intervene and now I'm glad that you have listened to the Lord and that you will go out there and win souls. And it is a, that, that is a tough call. It is, not a, it is not a walk in the park. It is a walk of suffering along with the Lord. You've got to bear your cross and follow hard after Him. And that takes courage in this world where nobody dares to say they believe in Jesus Christ anymore. So you've got to be the light of the world and the salt of this earth. Just like all of us who are tr so trying. So don't... don't uh, I beg you not to do like many so-called Christians do. 
they will go and denounce this is a false teacher and this is a false teacher and this one is a false one he teaches heresies and all that stuff it is best for you to read your word to, to spend your time daily in the word of God and praying because prayer is our heavy artillery against the forces of darkness and it is better for you if you want souls to be well nourished to say okay this is a good teacher you go to him or this one is a good teacher you can go safely there you will be well fed because that is the work of a true pastor to well feed their flock our job as Christians is not to denounce every false teachers because there are too many we would lose precious time so for the la the the little time that we have left on this earth before the rapture uh, I'd suggest read the Word of God daily even if it's just half an hour or 15 minutes every morning 15 minutes at night I don't know how, how much time you can spend in the Word maybe an hour and it will it will be time spent in the presence of the Lord and you will gather strength and you will gather wisdom from the Lord from the Holy Spirit to go out there and, and, and in communion with God you will be able to speak the truth and the wisdom of God that will help them see the love of God in you brother so I encourage you with all, with all my heart and my prayers uh, to continue what you have started and the Lord will reward you for your faithfulness because God is faithful he has made promises for you and me so I'm along with you uh, on this battle so you're not alone and I know that if I fall down you will not leave the soldier that I am on in the battlefield bleeding you will be praying on your knees too so I trust in the power of the Holy Spirit in you to guide you and to direct you and, and to let go of all the the tricks of the enemies you what you can do with your prayers say to the Lord Lord every soul needs you and I trust in you to to uh, to destroy all the works of Satan on this earth and around my house and in my city and my country and in the whole world and that my friend is what Satan is all afraid of that a solid Christian hangs in prayer all right brother I know you understand now and I I can't wait to see you soon in the New Jerusalem. <laughs> and I'll give you a big hug, brother. You take good care. Ciao for now.